as if we needed any more reason to drink coffee. I don't need to convince many people about the benefits of coffee, and I certainly don't have to convince anybody about the taste of coffee. What a great way to start your day. But did you know, it's more than just the beginning of the day. In fact, there's a lot of health studies that really support the use of coffee throughout the entire day. We learned just this month that drinking coffee not only will improve your heart, it'll lower your risk of stroke and heart attack, it also will improve your overall health and decrease your inflammation. But in addition to that, we just found out from the American Journal of American Nutrition, it will also help decrease your body fat. In a recent study where over 15,000 females and over 7,000 males that were tested and followed for a period of time showed that estrogen levels decreased and testosterone levels increased with the consumption of coffee. In fact, it turned out that actually more was better up until a point. They broke it down into cups of coffee per day. One, two, three, and four. Four. turned out the best effects were when you drank four cups of coffee a day. It also didn't matter what kind of coffee you drank. It could be decaf or it could be caffeinated. Turned out the decaf group worked just as well. But what did make a difference was the type of roast. The light and the medium roast were the best and the dark roast was the worst. Like many things, and I talk about this with macadamia nut oil and certainly with fish oil, if something is dark roasted, it has been brewed to a high temperature, and when that happens, the oil and the good properties can denature. When it denatures with coffee, it lowers the effects. When it denatures with the fish oil or any type of oil, it kills the omega-3 acids, which are so good inside the body. It does also matter what you're putting in your coffee. In fact, with all of these tests, it was done with black coffee. Not when you're adding cream, not when you're adding sugar, not when you're adding milk, not when you're adding artificial sweeteners either. Lastly, even if you're drinking black, it did matter if you're drinking flavored coffee. It has to be black in order to get the benefits. To show you how much I value coffee, watch me go through how I have my morning coffee and drink it throughout the day. This machine is a Jura machine. It's designed to grind the coffee there and then press it at hot temperatures into your cup. The fresher, the better. If you're getting whole bean, it's even better than ground coffee. So what do you do with this information? Does it mean that if you just go out and start drinking coffee, you could eat anything you want and not exercise? Not hardly. It doesn't work in a vacuum. In fact, I don't want you sitting back eating candy bars and having chocolate and eating loaves of bread thinking, well, it's no problem, I'll just have more coffee later on. It doesn't work that way. Coffee is great in addition to all of your other healthy goals. So of course you want to eat properly, of course you want to exercise, and you want to do it consistently. I love having coffee as either a pre-workout drink or I like to have it up through about lunchtime in the day. If you're sensitive to the caffeine, drink decaffeinated and also if you just like the taste of caffeinated better, I would cut it out anywhere in the afternoon to make sure that you're not taking it before bedtime. So hopefully today this video served you. Yes, you can enjoy coffee, the taste of coffee and have increased health benefits. I'm Dr. Derek Alessi asking you to make the most of your life and live it fit.